If you're thinking about dropping out of college, or maybe you already have dropped out of college, then this video is for you. I dropped out when I was a sophomore, and I went to two different colleges, my freshman and my sophomore year, and I was trying to build a business, and I just figured that school wasn't for me. I was doing very poorly, my grades were bad, I was learning so much in business, and I wanted to just pursue business full time, go all in, without, in my opinion, having the distraction of school. These are the things I've learned after dropping out. My story is that I was in college, I started an app, it basically took two locations, found the midpoint and provided things to do, and it was for dating, meetings, hanging out, and try to gain some traction with that. I scheduled with meetings with other founders in LA, and I would come to LA maybe once a month, just trying to build a network here and learn and you know build this business into something that I thought it could possibly be. Sophomore year comes around and I'm doing pretty bad honestly. Freshman year I had great grades. I think I had a 3.7. It was I, I literally lived in the library because I was just so focused on building my app and my business. Then sophomore year I didn't like the first school. I transferred to a second school where I had friends and I was going to live in this fraternity house. So I lived a fraternity house life. I was surrounded by that and that wasn't what I wanted. After traveling to LA a few times, I knew that I wanted to move there and go all in on business. I didn't know what the business was going to be because this app wasn't doing very well, but I knew I wanted to just try and take that leap. So after my sophomore year, my grades were not very good and I went to the guidance counselor and I said, hey, what's going on with my grades? Can I take easier classes? I'm running a business. I'd love if I could just work with the school, if I could take maybe a, a, one, or, one or two less classes and I'll go to college for a longer period of time just so I can get it done, but Please, is it possible to work with me? The guidance counselor suggested I take a year off of school, try to figure something out, and then come back to school, and then when I'm ready to put the work in to get my grades up. And I'm, in my opinion, I'm thinking, why is the guidance counselor who works for the school telling me to leave school and not trying to work with me and help me trying to get my grades up? It made no sense to me. So then I was thinking, after I'm going to school when we're clearly paying the school money, and they have no interest in me. Why should I have an interest in them? And I was just confused that how am I in an accounting class that's not being taught by an accountant? How am I in a business class by, by a teacher that has no business? It made no sense to me. I took my business plan that I used for my app and presented it as my business plan for the class and I failed the class, which made absolutely no sense because I used that business plan to raise money. So the whole thing made no sense to me. So anyway, I wanted to drop out. I was sold on dropping out. I wanted to just build whatever it was. I kept asking my parents, can I please drop out? I know what I wanna do. I wanna build something. Please just trust me on this. I, I, don't wanna, I wanna have no regrets. I wanna take this risk. They said, no, no, no. And then finally, I think one day, my parents said, if you really wanna drop out, you need to tell us exactly what you're going to do. Give me a business plan on what you're going to do when you drop out to support yourself. They, wanna, they wanted me to prove that I could support myself. And at the time, I couldn't really support myself. I had a few things making a few dollars here and there, but. I wanted to take this risk. I wrote a 13 page business plan and I had to pitch them like it was Shark Tank. I had to say, this is what I'm going to do. If this doesn't work, I'm going to do this. If this doesn't work, I'm going to do this. And I had this long, you know, a few hour conversation with them and you know, it ended up with them in tears and me so excited to be able to take this risk. But now I'm thinking, oh my God, this worked. I didn't think they were gonna accept my pitch. I gotta build, like, oh my, I have absolutely no time to waste here. Let's get started. So I think the, the next week I was on a plane with one or two suitcases packed, very low bank account, and I was just like, let's, let's do this, I'm ready to go. I was, I was doing this with my friend, we were ready to, to take the, the leap and try to build something. So that is how I dropped out. I had to pitch my parents. The school was very difficult to work with. I wanted to stay, but they suggested for me to take a leave of absence. So, you know, I was like, this is perfect, perfect storm, let's get into it, let's start building. I'm so excited, but also, now I'm terrified. So going from moving to LA after dropping out to now eight years later where I've built a company, I was at a marketing agency for four years, I built a few other direct to consumer e-commerce products up and have made a living for myself and I've you know, built a marketing agency. These are the things I've learned after dropping out. So the first thing is that speed, you need to be obsessed with speed and, and the sense of urgency. Everything is moving fast, the world moves fast. If something bad happens, the world keeps going. You need to adjust extremely quickly and realize that a lot of things cannot be solved with emotion, they have to be solved with logic. So if you're dealing with a problem, you need to take a step back and you cannot be upset about something or mad at someone they didn't deliver the product or whatever, this, this inventory didn't come on time or this client said this, take all of that out of the equation 
and only focus on logic. Okay, this person didn't deliver here, what's my solution? Immediately go to the solution. You're working against the clock now. Your competition is yourself. I'm not saying compared to anyone else, you have to pull yourself out of this and now build yourself up from nothing. You have, you have no safety net. If people want to call school a safety net. You have just yourself, your knowledge, what you can learn, and the whole world out there to try to build something. So speed, sense of urgency, move as fast as possible, solve problems with logic. So now that you're out of school, the second thing that I learned is that you have to learn by doing. You cannot learn by sitting in a classroom, by watching YouTube videos, maybe a few things here and there, techniques, but you cannot learn just by sitting in a classroom, watching a YouTube video, you have to actually do it. Those things can be a crutch and they can help you. You know, the classes can teach you the basics, the YouTube can teach you the techniques and also the basics, but you need to learn by doing. You need to apply these techniques and apply everything you're learning and go out there and actually learn by doing. You're going to lose money a little bit. You're going to struggle. It's going to be difficult. But the only way to actually learn something is to do it by repetition and put yourself in that environment or else there's going to be no progress. I wanted to learn Facebook ads. I was trying to market phone cases. I was trying to market, you know, a bunch of different things, cat products, whatever we could find basically on Alibaba, we tried to market it for a bit to try to make some, some money and pay the rent. But the main thing was Facebook ads. How can I learn Facebook ads? The only way was to try it myself. I had to put my own dollars in. I had to put $5 a day when everyone was doing that, $10 a day trying to make these things work, build out the Shopify pages, understand psychology. You can watch the YouTube videos on the basics of how to build this stuff out, but you have to do it. You have to make your own creatives. You have to do your own targeting. You have to build your own web page. You have to build everything out yourself. You can watch, you know, these videos for like the rubric, but you have to build it yourself and learn by doing and learn as you go. The third thing, back to the safety net part, that you have absolutely no safety net. No one can save you. You cannot call anybody to come save you. It's basically you, your back is against the wall and you have to use all your resources to figure this out. It's basically like you're stranded on an island. All you have is pretty much yourself and whatever money you've saved at this point to then go and figure something out. You have to apply, you have to be scrappy, you have to be resourceful, and you have to be extremely fast to figure this out. And it's, it's you against the clock and you have absolutely no safety net. There's no degree where you can just go get a job. I mean, I guess you can now, it's much different, but you should not have a backup plan. If you're going to drop out, you need to make sure that you have the confidence and tenacity to go out there and build something that is substantial enough for people to then pay you money. Whether it's a product, you're selling a hoodie, whatever it is, make something great and start selling it. Because at the end of the day, if you have a great product, you can figure out how to market it. And that's if you want to you know, sell a product. But there's absolutely no safety in it when you, when you drop out. It's a full bet on yourself and I think a lot of people should do it. And another thing that I should, I should mention here, no one's ever asked me where I went to college. No one's ever asked me what college I went to, my grades in college, did I go to college? No one's ever asked me about college living in LA. They see I do great work, I make ads that work, friends refer other friends, businesses, clients refer other clients, and that's how my business grows. No one's ever like, oh, I would hire him, but where did he go to college? Or did he go to college? No one's ever said that because I think it's become less of a requirement to you know, provide a great service in life. So this is what I learned by dropping out. If you're thinking about dropping out and you are confident in what you can do and you're ready to be resourceful and scrappy and figure it out, I highly suggest it, but School is definitely important for a lot of roles and, and, and positions in life, but if it's not for you, I highly suggest you go for it.